Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, lecture. Um, so in this lecture, um, we'll go through the Google Earth Engine Cloud Computing Platform. If you're new to Google Earth Engine, uh, I'll walk you through the different um, features that the Google Earth Engine Cloud Computing um, has. Uh, let's get started. So first thing is, uh, let's um, go to Google Earth Engine, Google Earth Engine. All right, so this is the main website for Google Earth Engine. Uh, so Google Earth Engine is a planetary scale platform for Earth science data analysis. So what it means is that it's technically um, um, a cloud-based GIS and remote sensing um, platform. And it has two features. The first one is it hosts this, um, you know, petabytes of large volume of mostly remote sensing, but some other geospatial data. And the other thing is it provides you um, uh, analytic um, platform so you can run your analysis remote sensing digital image processing and some geospatial analysis on the cloud without even downloading your data and um, installing a software on your local machine so you can um, run your analysis on any browser using just an internet um, and so you can run you know some codes even using your mobile or desktop um, what you need is just uh, you know, a browser, internet browser, uh, uh, Chrome or Mozilla, or whatnot. So th that's uh, that's um, you know what Google Earth Engine is—a cloud-based remote sensing and geospatial analysis platform. It it's uh, it's an analysis platform on the cloud. It also has um, different data sets. So let's just go to the different features that um, Google Earth has. So the first one is you know data set, right? So uh, data set uh, and it has uh, you know petabytes of data, a large scale planetary scale geospatial and remote sensing data. Uh, it has a huge collaboration with USGS and NASA, European Space Agency, what have you, uh, to access data as it, uh, it's available um, through API integration, right? So you can uh, pretty much get the majority of remote sensing and geospatial data sets. So, um, you know that's the advantage of um, Earth Engine uh, using the Earth Engine uh, Cloud API. And you know, as you can see here, you have data sets from satellite instruments such as Landsat, uh, Modi, Sentinel, and a lot of other um, instruments. And you can get other geospatial data sets like climate and weather data, uh, population data, and disease disease data. Um, so um, there's a whole list of um, suite of uh, geospatial data sets and including digital elevation model, uh, land cover data, uh, you know, crop type data set and other geospatial data sets. Um, so you can, um, you know, to um, search data, you can browse by tag. Uh, simply, for example, if you're looking for NDVI, you just can type in NDVI. Um, here, NDVI, normalized different mutation index, you just can um, click here, you have a list of NDVI datasets that are hosted on the Google Earth Engine Cloud, uh, on the Google Earth Engine, uh, Earth Engine Cloud. Uh, for example, if you are, um, you know, looking for a DEM data or SRTM, you can uh, click DEM and then um, you have a list of, you know, datasets here. And you can also um, click, you know, search data by sensor or satellite instrument. And you can also um, view all the data sets in, uh, on the Earth Engine uh, data archive or data catalog. Okay, so that's one, one thing. Let's go back to the main page here on Earth Engine. And uh, let's go back actually to the main Earth Engine website here. Uh, the other thing is, you know, the, the, the sign up. So to get started, um, if you don't have Earth Engine account, Earth Engine has now a commercial and a non-commercial version. So if you're using these for this, um, you know, lecture, uh, you might need to request an account for educational or training purpose. So you'll have a free access. Uh, so you get started and, you know, sign up for a Google Earth Engine account if you have a Gmail account. Uh, and then once you're granted, you can use the Google Earth Engine platform uh, free for a non-profit or educational or research purpose, okay? And then, uh, and the other thing is, you know, a commercial purpose that's more like enterprise, um, you know, commercial uh, application. And uh, if you're doing some, some sort of um, a commercial um, uh, use case 
uh, to run your geospatial analysis or remote sensing on the cloud, you can request one. And, and the platform has a, a lot of documentation. If you click here, um, you know, documentation on the Earth Engine platform, uh, you have this welcome to Google Earth Engine. Um, and, um, you know, in terms of Earth Engine, there are, um, you know, three settings, the JavaScript, the Python, and REST API. Um, so in, in, in this, um, in this um, lecture, uh, we'll be using the JavaScript API, but if you know if you're interested, you can also um, use the Python API um, using either CodeLab or Jupyter Notebook. And there are you know uh, a lot of other you know useful libraries, um, documentation um, to um, you know go through it whenever you have some question about other engines. There is a really well documented uh, documentation about Earth Engine, which you can go and refer. Uh, and then once you have an Earth Engine account, there's also an active community of Earth Engine developers, uh, pretty responsive, um, and you can get your question post there. Um, and that's that's mostly about you know referencing documentation. Okay, the main part is the code editors. So this is a playground where you can run your JavaScript code and, um, you know, run uh, your, your analysis or, you know, import remote sensing data, Landsat data or land cover data uh, by writing um, 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 your JavaScript code um, to uh, communicate with the, the, the Google Earth Engine uh, API application programming interface. Uh, so uh, you can, you can, import data, run analysis, and uh, export data, whatnot. So this is the code editor where you can write your JavaScript code. Um, for example, you can write here, print hello world. Um, and semicolon to close your JavaScript statement. And I can go ahead and run here. So I can see my um, um, program is executed here. I can see the, the output, hello world, it is printed here on the console. Um, and so this is the map canvas where you can see your result um, in, in uh, real time as you run the analysis. So you don't need to download the data. You can run your analysis on the cloud by writing some code here. And you can, you can um, visualize your results here. And you can also see some uh, errors or feedback um, once your code is executed, you can see um, you know some um, uh, errors uh, if your code is not uh, performing well or if there's some sort of um, debugging that's needed. Uh, so um, yeah, and, and then the other thing is, uh, let's see if you have um, you know some questions you can check these frequently asked, um, you know, questions. Uh, that's um, about, you know, just uh, the um, quick overview of uh, Google Earth Engine.